Hi, nice to meet you. And do you want to high five? Why not? We can do that even with our camera. And today I'm going to talk about immersion. I was listening to interview between Daniel and India, and I noticed we have a lot of misunderstanding about immersion and why sometimes for some people immersion is a good idea, for some people it's a bad idea. But to be honest, we need to find just a good way, a balance, how to use it, immersion technique for us, for learners. Thank you so much. Stay with me, subscribe, like, and share. And I hope you will have a lot of fun like me. Is immersion the holy grail of language learning? Learning a language through immersion means completely surrounding yourself with the language you are learning. True or false? Here are some common misconceptions about learning a language through immersion. You will learn automatically. One common belief is that simply being in a foreign language environment will make you fluent automatically, while immersion helps, active learning and practice are essential. You must be in a foreign country. You don't have to move to a different country to immerse yourself in a language. You can create immersion experiences locally through language meetups, online communities or language partners. People still struggle with pronunciation even if they've been living in a foreign country for 5, 10, 20 years. No need for grammar study. Some think they can ignore grammar rules completely in an immersion approach. Understanding grammar is important, but use patterns. It's too late to start. People often believe they can learn a new language as adults, while it might be different from learning as a child. Adults can make great progress. It's all about speaking. Immersion involves all aspects of language, including listening, reading and writing. Don't focus on speaking only. Accent doesn't matter. While it's not crucial to have a perfect accent, working on pronunciation from the start can help you be better understood. Immersion is a shortcut. Learning a language through immersion is effective but it's not a quick fix. It still takes time and effort. One size fits all. What works for one person may not work for another. Tailor your immersion experience to your learning style and goals. Immersion mission is to make second language fluency straightforward, easy and fun. It makes sense because number one, listening helps you become familiar with the sounds, rhythm and intonation of the language is crucial for comprehension. Number two, reading. It's not just about words on a page. It's about opening the door to a deeper understanding of the language and the culture it represents. So, whether it's a novel, a magazine, or an online article, don't underestimate the power of reading on your immersive language learning journey. Number three, writing. Allows you to practice the written form of the language work on spelling and reinforce vocabulary. Number four, speaking. Typically comes after listening and writing because it involves actively processing the language. By the time you start speaking, you've already developed a foundation in understanding and expressing yourself in the language. And what next? Enjoy the process. Make language learning enjoyable. Find content you are passionate about to maintain motivation. Time not effort. Consistency over time is more effective than cramming. Spend time with the language every day, even if it's just a little. Mistakes are okay. Embrace mistakes as a part of the learning process. Don't be afraid to make them. It's how you learn. I know it's difficult for adults in general. You know, I'm 45. And I know sometimes it's even more difficult for women in general. The process of struggling to make sense of a conversation, a text, or a cultural nuance can be a significant part of the immersion process. It forces your brain to work harder, to make connections, and to find creative ways to communicate. The struggle, while sometimes frustrating, can lead to more profound insights and faster language acquisition. Remember, immersion is about making the language 
a part of your daily life. And you know what? I'm going to start Spanish with you.